All right, in this video, we are going to look at chapter five in test driven development. Frankly speaking, they're going to have a little fun in this one. So, just to revisit first the entire cycle that we've been watching, we're going to write a test, we're going to make it compile, we'll run, make sure that it fails, and then we're going to add whatever code we need to to make it run. And then we're going to go through and remove duplication slash make it right. Now, we added in a new, new task to the to-do list. And here, we are going to implement the franc object. So we want to make sure that 5 francs times 2 equals 10 francs. So we're going to be able to do quite a bit off the dollar. And right now, I'm going to jump over to IntelliJ. Now, what we want to do is create an implementation of the franc. And of course, what we can do here is we want to have a complete implementation of it. And I'm going to rename this multiplication. And call these dollar op objects. And now we're going to go ahead and do a simple cut and paste. But now we want to do a franc. And it, as we implement this, what we're going to go through and just make this a franc, like so. And we're doing the same thing that we start off with the, when we did the dollar class. So that should be the same. And so we're going to do the same thing that we did when we created the dollar class. We're going to go ahead and implement the franc the same way. And again, we're doing an iterative approach here. So we're going to go in and implement the minimal functionality. So now I'm going to come over here and say new class. And I am going to just steal all this because it is literally at this point the same code. So now we just absolutely went in and implemented that. And we see that we still have some unhappiness here. Missed a implementation there. The evils are cut and paste, but again, we're going through doing this very quickly to set this up because we want to have the exact same functionality of these two currency objects. So now let's see if our test will run. And you can see IntelliJ gives us a, a handy runner here right in the right in the gutter and you can do specific test methods, but then you can also run the whole thing like so. So now our tests are running. I'm just uh, double checking things. So I, I think everything's good here. And now we have two currency objects. We have test coverage on the two different types of objects and everything is working properly. The problem is, now we have uh, duplicated code. There's a lot of shared functionality between these two guys. So we're going to put that on the list to address coming up here. But we've done the minimal approach. We got test running. And now we're going to go back and start making things right. Now we're back to the to-do list here. And I pointed out in the code there, we have a lot of duplication between the two classes. And what we want to do is clean up that duplication and then we want to implement a common equals and a common times method. So we, we want to achieve all this functionality and we're going to go through it and make the design better as we progress. But one of the things about tester and development is we're doing a very iterative approach. So we're kind of doing the minimal stuff that we have to do. And then we're going to go back and make things better and cleaner to address good coding practices. Because what we've done so far is very, very minimal. Now we want to go back and make it right.